chase down cards and then doing backs rather than yep. turns are just going to be putting cards on the table. Yeah. Okay, let's give it a go. So, let's start with the interface. I press F1. I remove the brief marker from your uh, leader. Uh, do you want to do you want to do you want to just restart the game? No, it's okay. Let's play like, like this. A new game. No, no, it's okay. And from your leader as well. Okay. So press F1. No, you remove the fresh market. It's okay. It doesn't matter. Uh, press F1 to start the game. So you have the craft. So you have first action this turn. If you don't remember what your actions are, you can okay. use the reference sheet. So now, if you want to play a gear card um, from your hand, you can just double click it. If you want to play a card as a gear card, you have to right click on it and play as gear. So if you want to bluff, you have to explicitly tell the game that you're bluffing. So the... Uh in the intel phase which is the phase that i can peek okay but because there's nothing to peek at we just move to the next phase no no the intel phase is where everything happens we don't move to the next phase there's no next phase only the debriefing the intel phase is where you do all your retail actions you can play agents you can play gear you can uh, snoop at cards you can do intel actions uh, you can pass okay. okay so this is what this is what i'm planning to do mm -hmm. If I t target this guy and use the coin sweep's ability, that'll discard that card and move along? Yeah. So double click sweep, uh, clean sweep, to notify that you. That's no, it's not automated completely, so you have to do it manually. And now right click on the table and discard uh, target cards. Fancy scripting. Okay, right. right. Okay, now no. I play. So you took... No, 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 no. We go alternate. So you do an intel action. Oh, then, right. so then I do an intel action. Go in turn. Yeah. That's your turn. I see. So I'm going to play this agent. You play now. Okay. You play this. Let me see what I have. Interesting. Interesting. That's not very good. You know what? I'm going to do this. Play another agent. You can attach gear to face down agents as well. Okay. I'm going to attach this gear to this agent. You play. Yeah, yeah, I'm thinking. It takes a while to explain this game, but once you get a hang of it, it goes very fast. Okay, and I'm going to attach another gear on this card.
Okay, so I want to now attack a story. You know, Can you I want to, a to attack what? If I want to attack the high speed melee story, can I do that now? Yeah, so uh, you just target the card, target the mission, and then press Control A like in Star Wars. Then press Control A, was it? Yeah. Okay. So you see a highlight to see that you are attacking this mission. The highlight is a random color. That's based on you, so I can't really change it. Okay, now, as an attacker, you select first who's at, at, uh, joining. So you can select e your agents and even your face-down agents. And you will need more transport than five, than four. Okay, you can clean sweep. Generally, at the start of the game, it's a bit tricky right. to <laughs> rush a bit too much in the missions, but we'll see how it goes. It's anyway a cheap mission. Okay. Okay, I'm going to send... So you need four transport. I have three transport on here, and I'm going to send this one as well. Uh, why not this one as well? Okay, so now before we declare Intel, we can flip agents and uh, that can uh, change who goes first in this mission. So I am going to flip one of my agents up and I'm going to discard a bravado. And I discard three bravado. So that is three from my agent plus three from bravado. That is six. I have enough to bring Molly in. So she gives me three craft. Do you want to uh, re flip any of your agents uh, up? Uh, uh, yeah, hang on. Oh, I should have sent my other guy in. Oh well. So I'll flip this guy. If you want, you can f you can still send the other agent. I don't mind if you forgot. What are you doing? No, no, uh, no, I wasn't going to. That's right. Okay, so right click. How do I flip it? Double, right double click it. Double click it. And then I have to discard. Yeah, she's a six, so you have to discard two bravado. So discard the bravado. Right click on the card. Discard the bravado. Okay, so that's enough for her. So how much craft do you have? You have four craft and I have five craft. So uh, unless you have any other tricks on you up your sleeve, I go first. Yep. Okay. So five transport, three transport. Don't really have a lot of transport. So what I'm going to do I'm going to flip up my uh, brass knuckles. It's giving me plus one combat, and then I can take a combat action to uh, do some damage. And what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to target the clean sweep, and then use the brass knuckles to give a plus minus two to charisma. 
and it says, uh, this is until the end of the mission, but it says, if I manage to bring your skill to zero or below, you are wounded. So in this case, you are wounded because your charisma goes to minus two. So right click on clean sweep and wound, uh, and use the wound. Okay, now clean sweep has minus two on all skills. You play. So now you can okay, use. So let me get this straight. I am now, I am now at five, uh, six transport. Is that right? You are at uh, five, six. Yes, and I have three plus three. If you can reduce. Yeah, you're at six as well. I am at. I am at six as well, yes. So you need to remove, reduce my transport by okay. four. Okay. So you can use the basic, ta ta let me finish. You can use the basic transport action uh, to send an agent home. Wait, 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 hang on, hang, hang, hang on, hang on. So I double click this card. Mm -hmm. Yes. And that gives me plus two. Yes. Uh, six and eight. Yeah. You hold on. You won't <laughs> win. You, by you won't win the mission immediately if you have the score. You need once we both pass on the mission, then we calculate who wins. I may not have been right. clear on this. So when we both pass, we do okay. actions and then we pass and then we declare who wins. So now you you have a chance to send some of our agents home uh, from the mission. So this will definitely reduce my transport. So to send my agent home, you just say, you double click to use the default mission ability and you target the agent. And your target number is their transport. Both of your agents have three transports, so it should be easy to send wait, my... Wait, st 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 wait, wait, wait. How, how, do I send you, how do I send you guys home? You use a, tra a transport action and the Difficulty is the transport uh, skill of one of my agents. Both of my agents have three transports, so you need the target number to send any of them home is three. So either of your agents can just send one of my agents home. Okay. So at this moment, it's better in my opinion to use clean sweep, because if I have another way to damage him, he may die. And then you can still use uh, Dominica Jones later. Or you can use Dominica Jones now to make sure that I won't send her back. It's up to you. How do, how do, how do I actually act, initiate transport action though? Double click on the agent that you want to use. The game is... Uh, double click on the... Yeah. The game is fairly smart in understanding what you're planning to do. So when you double click during a mission, it uh, uses the default mission action. Okay, so three, I can't stop you, so I'm leaving the mission. Okay, so Dove, now I can use Bravado to send your Dominica Jones back, but I don't have any, so I'm going to pass. Okay, so I what is this? And I did, I double I, by double clicking on it, I did the chase action, which is on the exactly on the mission card. Exactly, card. the default chase okay. action. And because I won, I won. Molly was removed from the mission. Yeah. Actually, I can now use. You only have. You can use combat actions. Yeah, I'm going to use a combat action because this is the high speed melee, and with combat uh, in the high speed melee says that you can use combat actions in this mission as if it was a fight mission. So I'm going to use the combat action of the mission to do combat on clean sweep, and I'm going to use this. So now I wound you again because you have zero combat and I have one. And now you get discarded. So just mouse over him and press delete. So 
So now you see your new your next agent was activated. But she is not part of the mission. So now I have three transport and you have three tra I have five transport and you have three transport, right? Yeah. Actually that was a mistake, sorry. Um oh fuck it. I had to use combat five because this is a cover five mission. So that was a mistake. Oh, oh well. It doesn't matter. It's okay. It benefited you anyway. Now this is a, this uh, is what you have to remember. Yeah, the cover yeah, is important. I don't know if this is the right way. What do you want to do? No, this doesn't make but sense now. This, you use this. No, 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 no. You use this when I'm targeting you with an action. If I try to do combat on you or if I try to transport you away, then you could use this card to increase the difficulty by three. And then I wouldn't be able to do it anymore. Yeah, this is a reaction. No, this is to. This is a protection card. Doesn't this increase? Doesn't this increase my transport from five to? No, eight? no. This is o this only increases the transport temporarily. That when you're targeted. So remember that card that said before um, that I uh, did the uh, brass knuckles on you. You could have used the lost in the crouch to increase your combat by three and then you wouldn't have been wounded you follow all oh, right so this can only be used defensively after i've been targeted yeah after i announce what i'm doing so it can't, can't be used during during it's a it's a defensive action be used after you've been so this can only be used after it's been ta after I've been targeted by an action by you. Yes. Okay. It's purely so defensive. So now you can send Dove back if you want. But I also have another face down hidden, so you don't know what she is. So make sure that. Uh, you can handle it. You need, at the moment, uh, to have four more transfer than I do. Okay, so I well, may as well just stay in, see what happens. You can use another transport action. Your uh, Dominica hasn't used her transport action, so you can... Right, right so I, I, I use a transport action. Okay, like she goes away. Um, I have one more agent. I can keep her until we both pass, and then I can use her to stop you from winning a mission if she has enough transport. If you have any anything you can any actions or reactions in your hand you want to do, now is the chance. As, as soon as you target a uh, links to do an action, then I have to reveal. Uh, as soon as you target my card, then I have to reveal here. But if you don't have anything, you just have to accept your faith and see if you win or not. Uh, so what you've passed is that what's happening? Yes, I've passed. If you have any tricks up your sleeve, now is the time. And there's nothing I can do? Unless you have any cards in your hand. Not, uh, not that I know of. Okay. Anyway, go on. I've got cards in my hand, but I don't think they can do anything. Okay, okay. go. Okay, so I'm going to uh, raise links. So she has two transport. And this means that you have five transport and I have two. You only have three more than I do. So I win the mission. Ta -da! And we're both going home. And that was a mission run. Now, yeah. for ex that's good, uh, this could have gone much better to you if you didn't uh, misread that card. Because you could have used it to pr protect 
your, your uh, guy from brass knuckles. But it's okay. Live and learn, yeah? Yeah, still a bit shaky. Yeah. Anyway, go on. Let's try it next turn. Uh, I still have miss the briefing actions, uh, briefing actions, uh, intel actions, because I haven't uh, run a mission. Ah, once you run a mission, you cannot take any more intel actions. But your opponent can. So, okay. if, if you run a mission, then I can continue building up for the next turn. This is kind of uh, makes up for the uh, snowball effect, let's say. Okay, I'm going to do nothing. Okay, so now we go to debriefing. Press F12 to debrief your characters. And then discard down to 7. Okay. Ready? Yep. So when do you, when do you use? When do you what? So when do you use the uh, the 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 brief thing briefcase? We need we need to go to the intel phase. So F one. You want to press That's it? That's in the intel phase. Should I press F one or you? Yep. I do it. Okay. So. It seems I have the interface because I have three card, three craft, five craft, six craft, and you have six. So we're tied. So it's selected at random. In this case, it's me. Okay. Radic, mate, still here? Still with me? Um. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just reading the cards. Yeah, yeah, so uh, we're tied for a craft, so, yep. so you it's ra get it randomly, yep. is that what happens? Yeah. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to debrief this, li this agent leader. You play. Okay. Play this guy. Uh, one thing, you can only ever have up to five agents active in your uh, area plus your leader. So six in total. If you activate more than five, then you have to discard one. And similarly, in a mission, you can only send up to five plus leader. Or up to five, I'm not sure. Let me just check. Yeah, so five agents plus leader is the maximum you can send on a mission. Whoa, you bring in the big, uh, the big girl. Okay, I'm going to. Okay. 
I'm going to attach this gear here. Actually, no, that's that's wrong. I want to. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to instead. Uh, let me see. Uh, actually, I can. Now that I think about it. Yeah. What does the TN mean? Yeah. TN target number. Right. Yeah. You play. Okay, let me think. I'm going to put this here. You play. Okay, so I have my my uh, ult has a craft of five, which means I can peek at one of your cards. Is that right? Yeah. So you can also peek on a mission if you want. So I, I do. Th okay, so, so just go right peek. click and peek. Yes. That's cool. I want to peek at this. Right Actually, you can just not uh, right click on the card. Just right click on your card on your uh, agent, right. and then use snoop. Snoop target card or control S. Okay. And that will automatically pick up the card for you. Okay. This way and you can... Do one Snoop per turn. Yeah, and then it marks it as Snooped so you don't uh, use it by mistake. Second time. Okay, so... Now you can see what it is. Okay. I'm going to try and run a mission. I'm going to go to destroy the biochem lab. And I'm going to send here. This guy. Ah, I'm sending everybody. Oops. Oh, shit. Wrong card. Clicked on the wrong card. Oh, shit. <laughs> why, did you double, why did you turn over? You double click twice. It's okay. You may use it to get the... Uh, I'm sending those guys in. Okay. Uh, how much craft do I have? Five, six, seven. You have... What does this... Guy have two craft. He should have zero. So you have seven, eight. So whatever I use, I won't get a craft required. Five, three. Yeah, okay. Go. You go first. So I go first? Yep. One of your agents is wounded. Move the agent to your head. After one of your... Oh, right. As soon as I'm wounded, I'm kicked out. One of your agents is wounded. Agents to your headquarters. Okay. Hmm. So... Let me think. What have I got going on here? Okay, so I can't use the garrote because it's not a chase or a in exactly. mission. Is that correct? Yes. So I have a combat five. Yep. You have to tell me first what you're doing, uh -oh. yeah? 
I guess I'll combat five on this dude. Okay. I the cover is five, that's enough, so she gets wounded. And she gets out of the mission. Okay, so what I'm going to do So let's do After King Maul wounds an agent, discard a gear on an unwounded agent. Discard a gear on the wounded agent. So, if you wounded the Dove, you can uh, discard a gear on Dove. But your Dove doesn't have any gear. Oh, oh yeah, gotcha. Yep, yep. Okay, so let's try this. I'm going to raise this. I'm going to discard this for the bravado. So I have five combat. And I'm going to do by mission combat here. Okay, so you're attacking with five combat, and I've got a combat of three. Mm -hmm. Okay, and cover of five. So you have target number five. Wait. You've got five, and I've got three. Is that right? No, no. The target number is five, because the cover of the mission is five. So the, co the target number is always either the cover or your combat, whichever is lowest. Uh, highest, sorry. Uh, highest, sorry. So at the moment, my difficulty is five. Do you want to react? Yeah, so you, you've got a total of five combat at the moment, is that right? Yes. And I've got a total of three. Yeah, but the difficulty is five at the moment, because the cover of the mission is five. So, if I ra what happens if I raise combat to five? Right. What's the, the the TN? That's the number on the on the mission, yeah. The TN at the moment is five. Yes, it's the number of the mission because it's higher than your combat. Okay. So if I do this, mm -hmm. raises the TN. Into eight, which but it means that you fail the combat. Is but it requires a transport of four. So you only have transport of one, so you need to discard a bravado of three. Oh, that requires transport four. Right, right. Okay. So you can discard the bravado of three uh, to use it, or uh, you can uh, just take the downs. Oh, right. Can you discard more than one card? Uh, no, only one bravado. Okay. Uh, okay. So. Okay. Uh, yeah. So my action fails. I'm not going to do anything else. So yeah, I don't do anything. So discard the lost in the crowds and you play. So 
But you can just use her again next, no. next action, can't you? No, I've already used the combat action. I can only use other abilities on my cards, like the brass knuckles or the other card that is face down. So I cannot use the default combat again. Okay, and what happens if there's a tie? Because I my foot shoulders got five combat and you've got five combat. Then my action succeeds. If I reach the target number, then I do it. What if I reach the target number as well? If you raise the target number and I don't have anything any bravado to play, then I fail again. Like I just failed now. Yeah, but if we both reach the target number, what happens? If I have... We, we don't both reach the target number. I have to reach the target number and you can try to raise the target number. So if I reach the target number to the point that you've raised it, then I succeed. If I don't, I don't succeed. Oh, oh right. I'm getting... Oh, it's all right. So I'm just thinking this all wrong. So I'm when, when you're defending... You're not looking at your own stats at all. You're just looking at a way to stop your stats equaling the TN. You're trying to no exactly. You're trying to look at a way for the opponent's stats to equal the TN. Your stats okay. become the and TN. I can't use. I can't. I can't use. I can't use King more because he's already been activated. Yes. You can use your other cards with bravado, or if some, if you have some other way to give them combat. Uh, no, I don't have any way to do anything. Okay, then you're just sitting there uh, to either stop him from winning the mission or to. Uh, uh, I've got uh, actually. Uh, I can. I guess I can target. This guy, do a combat action there. Yeah, oh, but no, I need you, to get to five, you need to get to five, yes. That's where combat comes handy. Cover. And this is a woman. Why do you call her a guy? Okay. So there's nothing. So there's nothing. I, so I, I can hardly hear you. What are you saying? I said Lynx is a woman. Look at her. Really? Yeah. Fairly female. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, so... Well... So I can't win any of the combat struggles. Yeah, but as you still... I still so have to... Uh, yeah. One thing you can do, if you think that you're losing very badly and you don't want to get more damage or anything, you can go out of the mission. And you say, okay, I'm pulling out. And when you're pulling out, your leader can take as many agents away from the mission as you want. So, for example, if you thought it was in a very bad situation, you could take everybody by King Mole out, let's say. But that's up to you, if you think you're losing too badly. So I could just say... Okay, so what I'm saying is, I can't win any of the combat, because none of my cart There's no way for me to get to five combat. Yeah. So, if I, I just retreat... Is but... That you could resist it, but remember that even the little combat that you have can help you stop me from getting the combat bo the, the mission because all I need is combat plus three. If you manage to keep a few combat in the mission and I can't reach combat plus three, so I cannot reach, for example, you, at the moment you have three, five, ten. I need 13 combat to win this mission. And I have uh, at the moment five, six, I have six combat in the mission and I need 13. So even if you stay in without doing anything, you may still be able to uh, stop me. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, but you've you've got brass knuckles, which is minus two to all skill. Yeah, but only until the end of the mission. Which would, would wound. Yeah, but that would wound and remove Jessica. That would wound and remove Dominique. Yep. And that would wound and remove King Maul. Yep. So you can... Is that, is that right? Yep, that is right. And I can also remove uh, minus four okay, cover so from I all your aids. Back out. Okay. Minus four from all your aids. So I just back out. Okay, so you think you don't have it? Cool.
So, okay, so select all your agents. Uh, select all your How is it? Um, I think it doesn't matter. I'm just going to win the mission. Since you're backing out, and win target mission. Okay, I'm now to nine victory points. Okay, now one thing that you can do after you win a mission, you can immediately run a second mission. But the difficulty of the second mission is doubled. So if I run another mission now, the difficulty will be Charisma plus 10 or Transport plus 6. So I'm choosing not to run another mission. And I'm just going to stay as it is. Okay, now you can continue playing uh, Intel actions if you want. I keep passing at I've already run a mission, so I cannot do anything else. So it's all uh, all you now. Okay, so I'm done. You're done. Okay, before we finish, I'm going well. to do something. So to get rid of one of my bravado. Actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, I'm going to uh, re raise this guy. And then rest this by discarding a, th a, th a, a four bravado card. Okay, so let's go. So, for example, I think the mistake they did in the last mission is not trying to use King Mole on Molly. Molly had uh, five combat. And if you wounded her, you would have sent her out and discarded one of my uh, items. So it made sense that you use King Mole on Molly. Yeah, but you would have just raised the, the, the thing up. And if I had any card in my hand that can do it. If I had a card in my hand that can do it. So, yeah, yeah. I, right. It was because I was getting... It was because I was... Be, I've been confused the whole time i thought we were trying to match each other's numbers but we're not so f12 yeah yeah almost you almost effectively are, that's what you're doing you're trying to match each other's numbers because your target number becomes the other player's skill it's just that you can increase the target number afterwards Okay. Okay. So F one, and you have the craft. Mean. Cover. Cover is that thing that you use if you're... Uh, when you go on a mission, the difficulty to do combat actions on you is usually either your combat or the cover of the mission. So, if you increase your cover, then the increase that you put goes to the cover of the mission. So, escape from Kanzler that is out now. Yeah? It has cover of 6. If you increase your cover, it will go 6 plus the increase. So it will be very difficult to do combat on. Okay, so let's... Uh, All right. Let's debrief this guy. And you play. Okay. I'm going to put Ah shit. It's not good. Uh 
Uh, oh yeah, also your agent can only have one vehicle attached, if I remember correctly. are pretty shit for what I got. I'm going to give this guy this. You play? Did you try to uh, play a gear, a card as a gear? Did you misclick? Did you? Yeah, you need to play this specifically yeah. as a gear. But now you told me pretty much that you're playing a fake gear. Right. Gotcha. I see. Okay. Let's play this here. Or maybe here. Let's play this agent. Remember you can have a maximum of five agents plus leader. And your previous leaders become normal agents afterwards. If they survive. Okay, so how do I use this uh, ability card, this ID card? Uh, your uh, crypt card. Just double click on it and then uh, pick on a card. Yeah. Sorry? Double click on the crypt card and then look at the card in your uh, in the queue uh, with a pick. Okay. And then what? Just press delete if I want to get rid of it? Uh, no, you don't get to get rid of Ah, yeah, you can get rid of no, it. If you want to get rid of it, target it. You may discard the yeah, yeah. it says. Target it and then right click on the table and discard target card. Or just target it and press delete. Just press delete? Yeah, on the table, not on the card. Okay, um, what should I do? Let's give this to Molly. Molly becomes my super agent. If I if if I do this to res this guy, is that my intel action? No, for that no, that's free. Okay, so are you going to snoop? I use craft four. I just yeah, right click on the agent yeah, and snoop. So. Okay, now you can mouse over and see it. Have nobody with craft for damn it. Um, what do we have here? Charisma and transport. Have no charisma and no transport. Mm. Yeah, I have transport, but you have better transport. Interesting. Yeah, I can try to do this. Okay, I'm going to try and do this mission. 
and you can only assign a maximum of three agents. Uh, sorry, wrong mission. Ha. Uh, sorry, I did the wrong mission. I wanted to do this mission, so I can only assign up to three agents on this mission. So let's try to assign this guy, this guy, and Molly. Okay, so now let me see if I'm reading it correctly this time for once. Okay, this is, is the, this mission mm -hmm. w to win every time we do uh, an action, mm -hmm. we have to hit five nope. successful. No, and every sorry, sorry, no. To win the actual entire and, and to win the, the entire mission, we need to win by three points. Only me. You're the defender. You win as long as I don't win. So all you need to do is stop him from winning. No, no, no. no what I mean is like I wanted to do uh, one of your characters from play. I need to transport action of five points. No, you need a, right? no. You need a transport action equal to that character's transport. So, so to you do need to match the symbols on each card. Yes, that's the initial target number usually. It's really hard, it's really hard to 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 get there because I can hardly hear what you're saying. Sorry. Uh, uh, but usually yeah, you need the target number is the opposing skill. Combat is a bit different where the target number can be the cover of the mission if it's higher. But only well, but only for fight missions. Last time. Okay. Yeah. I see. But only for five. Right. So you can assign a maximum of four agents. Obviously. Uh, uh. Okay, so so I can understand what's going on. You've got transport seven, transport four, plus five, one five. And yeah. This guy's got transport. And this guy's got transport three, four, yeah. at least four, possibly more because he's got two face down cards. Yep. Yeah. None of my cards can get anywhere close to your transport. I should just not, I should concede. Is no, because all you need to do is stop me from getting three more transport than you. And you can do that by wounding my agents, by uh, using a bit, bit of transport to send some of them back. For example, if uh, Dominica managed to send back uh, JRC, that's minus seven transport for me. And then I have to find a way to overcome at least, uh, to have at least eight transport. And if you have four other agents with you, that's not going to be easy. All you need to do is prevent me from getting transport plus three. Even if I don't, miss it, if I don't make it by one transport, you still win the mission. So if you bring all your agents in, okay. King Mole, King Mole can beat somebody up with his garot. Agent Slipper can just uh, use. I don't know if you have any anything else to do with him, but maybe he's not so useful. But you have another agent over there. Uh, Dominic can easily send somebody back with a transport action, and Jessica can just use her transport to make the difficulty higher. And maybe some bravado she can send somebody back. Maybe some bravado. It's not as bad as you think. It also so even though it's uh, we're doing a transport action, I can see a combat attack. Only with a garrot. 
with the Garot. We chose the Garot, it especially says it if it's a chase or intrigue yeah, mission, you can. Garot, yeah. So I'll, I'll, I'll send them all in, but I don't think, like, I can't get anything higher than five transport total. Yeah. So even if I remove one of your yeah. people. You can remove two of these people with bravado. Because you can do transport two or one, and then discard the bravado four. I don't know which your, what your other agent is. Maybe the other, the other agent has more transport. Oh, and I can still do the default action, which is transport. Okay. I can slowly get in the hang of it. So you can send four agents. Righto. If you want, you can send one more. No? What is the other agent? Why don't you want to send it? Okay, so... Oh, oh it's got no transport. It's got no tra It's got no transport and low combat. Hmm. I don't know what it is. You know better. Okay, so craft, you have it. I have uh, three, four, seven. And you have five, six... Nine, uh, ten, twelve. So you have first action in the mission. Now, King Mole can beat somebody up with a Garot. And uh, if you wound yeah, somebody, yeah. you can also discard an item from them. So you can easily beat up, for example, the Highwayman to remove his car. Or you can beat up a uh, Molly to remove one of his stuff. Yeah, yeah. Molly is the most dangerous at the moment because he has the uh, brass knuckles and he has yeah, two unknown yeah. items. But you may never know. Maybe I have a stuff to make your life difficult. So what does the what, what does the mobile artillery mean? Give enemy agents minus four cover. What's minus four cover mean? So if we were in the escape from Kanzler, the next mission, yeah, and I try to do a combat I, I ability, let's say with a garrot, uh, then your dif my difficulty would be six because the cover is six. If I use the mobile artillery, then the cover for you would be two, and it would be easier for me to do combat abilities. Got it? Okay. Okay. Now, easiest okay, easiest okay, way so easiest I'll way to get rid of Molly is at the moment to do transport action on here. Okay. So you're just going to Garot RC. Okay. Uh, yep. Are you using Garot? What are you using? Garot. Remember that uh, even with minus two uh, transport, RC can still send back uh, Dominic. Which is what you don't want. You want to use Dominic first. Because you want me to force you want to force me to get rid of here as soon as possible. So you still doing that? Look, if you attack with King Mole, I know that... Yeah, get rid of who? Dominica. She has the most transport of your dudes. So she's the one who is stopping me from winning the mission most. If you use her first, then I, you will get another opportunity to do something else. Because I will have to get rid of King Mole afterwards. Before he uses his ability. Okay. So before you use here, I'm going to use my hypnotic lenses. I'm going to discard this for one bravado. And your target number is increased by three. So if you have, a, a, if the gear that Dominica has is a transport card, it gives you a transport, now is a good time to use it. If not, you have to discard bravado. And you need three bravado. 
to get to so five is three bravado. Yeah. Unless the card you have on uh, Dominica is gives you transport. If it does, then uh, res it. What did you discard? Okay, clocked. Why, if you have a different card for Bravado, if you have a card with three Bravado, as I suggest, you keep clocked in your hand because King Maul can use it. I don't have any other cards that have three Bravado. Okay, so she goes back home. Okay, now I have to use uh, my abilities. I'm going to use the Highwayman. And I'm going to send back King Mole with the Secret Service SUV. So King Mole is out. The difficulty I have at the moment. Okay. So you had to you had to hit him for six. I hit him for six. Transport of no, actually I had to hit him. Five. I had to hit him only for two, be uh, because the difficulty is his uh, transport plus craft, and at the moment he has only zero transport and two craft. So the difficulty for the SUV was six. Uh, sorry, two. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Um Okay, so he gets plus one transport, she has two. You need six. You need a four Bravado card. Alright, you can't do a combat, so transport no. four. My transport is six at the moment. Yeah, but I'm trans I'm a transporter too. Yeah, so you need a four bravado to hit his uh, target number. Okay, so it's uh, uh, hmm. There's nothing I can do. Maybe you have something with. Uh, if you don't have anything with Dominique either, no. You can just wait to see what I'm doing. So none, of, but none of my characters can hit the transport number of five. Of six. Why okay. Is it six? Because uh, uh, the path, the highwayman gets plus one skill from anything that gives skill. So the secret service SUV gives him plus two. Right. So I can't get anything to get six and I can't hit anything to get seven. Okay. But so. so uh, and no actions in hand, I guess. Is that right? Yeah. If you have no actions in hand, then yeah. Okay, then I'm just going to send your guys back and win the mission. Okay. This is very one-sided, suddenly. I didn't expect to uh, deal so much damage so easily. But game not over yet. You still have intel actions, so you can keep building. Okay. Well, do you want to start a new game now? Now that I have a kind of an inkling of what's going on. You don't want to finish this one. Well, I'm just learning. I mean, yeah, let's learn. The game is not. The game is not yeah, over yet. So I think I'd rather just start. Are you sure? No, no, no. Like, 
just like uh, because I think that there's uh, a lot of things you missed. Right, cause I think I think I'm I think I'm right. Okay, well we can continue if you like. Okay, so I don't think it's in such a bad situation as you think. You almost got your big leader out, and uh, you haven't lost any agents, so it's not bad. Just keep building. Remember to brief your your leader, so you can get her out uh, next turn. So have you? Have you? Is it my? Turn yeah, again? it's your action. Yeah. Okay. You continue. You. It's all you. Uh, that's it. That's it. No actions to play. No gear to put. Remember, you if you have any agents. I can't put down any more characters. You only have five characters out. No, no, five active characters plus your leader. You only have four active characters, uh, three active characters, and your leader. So you can easily play uh, as many characters as you want. As long as they're inactive, you can play them. Okay. Okay. Do that, I guess. Okay. I p don't have anything to do. Okay. Remember, you only refill to uh, f uh, by five. Okay. okay. So F12. Okay. And next time you can get your big leader out. So that should probably help you a bit. Okay. And F1. You have Intel, so you go first. Uh, as soon as you brief your biggest leader, you can get her out. And then start equipping here. Okay, hang on. I've got to just read all these cards. So, get the thing out. Mm -hmm. uh, what is it? Brief. Okay, now double click here to get activate here. Wait a bit. It takes a while to run the calculations. There we go. Okay. As you can see, she's a beast. She can okay. easily. Okay, so, she can have. so she's the active leader now. She's the top leader. Yep. And the other is just an agent. And I now have. And I now have. Still only have three. I have four active. Agents. Exactly. You have four activations, you can activate so one right. more agent, yes. So, so I can activate one more. Yep. So, yeah, so I can activate one more, is that right? Yep. Okay, um, see, check her ability. Yeah. After a leader targets a mission in the queue, you can change the target to be a mission adjacent to the original target. So you can pretty much redirect my missions. And the difficulty is my craft, so it's very easy for you to redirect my missions. I'm going to 
That's what I do. I'm going to try and brief this guy. You play. Okay. Um, one, two, three, four, five. It's not good. Um, going to play this agent. Okay. Gonna discard that. Okay, I'm going to pass. Now if I'm doing this right, so I'm just gonna do it and you can tell me. Let me see. Discard the mission card from the queue. Yes, you're doing it right. You didn't have to target the iron flower, you can just play it and tell me who's doing it, but yeah. And now untarget Iron Flower and press delete. By the way, why do you discard yeah. it? One, one thing. You don't have to uh, discard a mission before you can run. You can run on face down missions as well. If you want to run on the mission that you just looked at, you can just run it. You don't have to use the tail of uh, uh, tail to crumbs. Yeah, but I want to get rid of the combat mission in case she run early. But it's not a combat mission, it's a chase transport too. Oh, they're both chases. Oh, right. Fuck, I can't read, obviously. <laughs> okay. okay, so... Oh, well, let's, let's try it, whatever. Okay, so... So, click... Yep, and control A. Put control A? Yep. Control, yeah. There we go. Okay, who are you sending? It's an intrigue mission. Chase, fight, intrigue, it's everything. So this mission has everything, pretty much. That's all, just three agents. Why don't you send more? Probably you want to send Jessica as, uh, as well. She has a nice ability. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? You have. You can send uh, more agents if you want. Yes, you One, two, three, four, five. I can only send. Five. I thought you said you could only send four. Only for that particular one. There was one mission that said you can only send four agents as a defender. Normally you can send five plus leader. So you probably want to send your sleeper agent because you need craft. And maybe some other guys with craft. I don't know what you have. Anything else? Okay. Not a sleeper agent. Why not? Oh. Going. Sorry, what? Ah, you five. You had five agents. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I thought I'd miscounted. So we have five ladies plus leader. I'm going to send this guy. Um, fuck. 
uh, this guy here, here. I don't think I can manage to face your craft. And this one, two, three, four, five. One, two, one, two, three, four. Uh, why not this guy too? Okay, so I think you have the craft by a lot. So you play first. Okay, so let me get this straight. Molly's combat is three, four, four five. Is that correct? Yes. But I have one, one card that you've seen already. I have one, one card. And what happens if, if I equal your combat? Uh, you wound me. But don't pass it. You wound me. If you wound equal. me. If it's equal or more. So I'm just going to go, and I can't do it, and then I just use, use his garrote, is that right? No, because this is, uh, oh yeah, you can use the garrote, you can also use his normal ability, but yeah, you can use garrote and his normal ability. Okay, are you going to use the garrote or what? Okay, I'm going to res. Well, I can't use... I'm going to raise the Ingram. The Ingram gives me plus two combat, so I go to seven. So you need to use Bravado now. Okay. Okay, so nothing happens? Or yeah, or you, can use, you can use Bravado if you want to reach it. You need two more Bravado. Oh, I can use a bravado. But let me see. Let me see. I'm going to. Oh, I need to. Just, I need to, hold, get to seven. Yeah. Before you use it, I'm going to increase the difficulty a bit more. And I'm going to use the hypnotic lenses. So the difficulty is uh, plus five now. So you need to discard five bravado, which I don't think exists. Okay. So that fails. Now I play. What's your combat? Okay. Okay, I'm going to use Molly and do combat. She has seven. So I'm trying to going to do combat on your iron flower. I'm going to, the only way I can win this game, I think, is to kill your leader. So you don't have any react to increase the difficulty. Oh, wait, actually, hang on. If you have any reacts to increase the difficulty, now is the time to do them. Okay, so, plus one combat. I'm going to discard the bravado then. Do you have any other reacts to increase the target number? In your hand, like an action or something. Do you? Yeah. There you go. Perfect. So the target number is increased by four. I don't have the bravado to reach it, so it fails. You play. God damn it. I was <laughs> that yes. that was my last chance. <laughs> Three, four, five, six, seven. So he's got seven combat. Molly's got seven combat. Yep. Yeah. So 
he more needs bravado to get me. Uh, okay. Keep in mind, Molly has another uh, attack. She has an ingram, and then she has the brass knuckles. So if you let Molly uh, stay, she can uh, start doing damage. Uh, yeah, okay. Just letting you know. And the one I'm targeting wounded, is that right? If you're targeting, if you, yeah, he gets wounded. The difficulty is five, so yeah, he gets wounded. Oops, wrong. Um, wound, wound, wound. Okay, I'm going to use the uh, Ingram on uh, your boss. The difficulty is uh, uh, your combat. And I have to discard one Bravado. Unless you have another React now. What? What's the, what, are you, what are you talking about? I'm using the Ingram, this oh, card. Right, this thing, okay. Yeah, so if it's like a combat action. Yeah. And I discarded to Bravado to use it, unless you have a reaction to prevent me. Do you have any reacts? If the, wait, wait, let me just... I've got to try and work out what's going on here. If the fight mission or solo op, whatever that is, yeah. will wound opponent agents, yeah. frozen agent if it's a public yeah. mission, yeah. PN is the target's bat or cover, whichever is higher. Yeah. So you have so, six, so you have eight combat. You're, you're, you've sh he got a total of seven combat, yeah. which equals her. Which no, actually you have. I have a seven which combat. Doesn't, e doesn't equal her combat. Yeah. In this case, I discard the bravado for two. So you need to discard another card to boost it. Is that right? Yep, and I did. I discarded the card for two bravado, and that's enough to reach her target. So number. you're at seven, eight, nine. Yeah. So, yeah, so she's wounded. Yep. So she got now minus two on all skills. Careful, if uh, Molly survives, she can use brass knuckles on your leader and kill her because she only has two charisma. And I can use brass knuckles for charisma and wound, do another wound which will kill your leader. That's why I said Molly is very dangerous. You need to get rid of Molly. So I can go boom and do a... You can use Charisma or a Trick. Action yep. On her. Yep. Okay. This is gone. Remember, if I kill your leader, you lose the game. Okay, what I'm going to do is... Your leader has five transport now. A uh, five uh, combat. Do we have anybody with two combat? Yes. Okay, so... RC is going to attempt and use combat on your leader. Do you have anything to increase the target number? Have anything to increase? So I've got three combat. No, I've got four combat. No, you have five. Have you got? have seven plus one eight minus two. Sorry, seven plus one eight plus two minus two six. You have six combat, and I have three combat myself. And you have what? And you have one. Who, who are you using? Uh, oh, this guy, RC. Okay, this guy. So yeah. So he has three. If I can discard the three bravado, it will be enough. Uh, okay. So nothing, no reacts. Okay. In that case, I'm going to discard. I can't do anything now. Discard the bravado for three, and your leader is dead. And that's it. 
So, the mistake you did in this game is uh, at the end, yeah, you had a lot of advantage with your leader in. You, you should have gotten rid of Molly first thing. Molly is the most dangerous I have. Yeah, yeah, I knew, I, knew, I knew what the correct play was. I was just trying to work out exactly how the game is working. Winning yeah. is, is not really the, not what I'm mm. thinking about at the moment. I was just trying to work out how the how the combat worked when it's not versus the uh, the the actual mission objective things. Mm. Yeah, the mission objective only counts in the end. After basically we've tumbled and rumbled together, then you see if you win. So basically, as a defender, all you need to do is disrupt the attacker. You don't care if you lose all your agents as long as your opponent cannot reach the objective, you've won. So sometimes you may go into a combat and you, you get all your agents wounded and uh, thrown out and whatever, but you still win because you just disrupted enough so that the agent wound, the opponent wound. Okie Yeah. I think it's a very interesting game. I, I like the... Uh, is this a little bit confusing at first, but I think I've got the hang of it now yeah. with, the, with the different... Uh, so, basically, you can only do struggles that are listed on the on the device, on the on the mission. So, yes. in this case, it had everything. It had yes. chase, fight, intrigue. Yes. I'm not quite sure what that is. Intrigue is the, uh, the one you do with charisma. You can only... What's public? Public is just a trait. And public, for example, is used like with cards like Uzi, like Ingram. It says if it's a public mission, uh -huh. then you get exposed. Right. Okay. If it's public mission, then you get exposed. Okay. And, oh, I see what you're saying. And also, uh, I just, where is it? Somewhere in here. Okay, so this thing here, right? Yeah. This is a... This is a solo op. We haven't played with these cards yet. this thing work? This is what... Um, this is a, a card that is uh, as a later of the rules. And um, I haven't played with it myself because I stopped playing when these game things came out. But as far as I know, it's a mission that you start with just one agent. And you can only be blocked by one agent. Um, I don't remember exactly how it works. So let me just check. Solo op, solo op. Sort of like a conspiracy in Cthulhu, I guess. It's like an extra story. Yeah, basically, uh, reveal a solo. You you reveal. Versus a story. Yeah, you reveal a solo op from your hand, and you draw a card. Then you initiate a mission phase okay. using the reveal solo op, and uh, yeah, you basically do an extra mission instead of the missions that you have in the queue. You use the solo op, and when you win it. You put this card in your uh, in your area, and your leader can use its ability. So, what was the number in the top left of that's the is that the victory point in the top left of a mission? Uh, of a mission yeah. of a, the top left is the cover. The top right is the victory points. So, what's in the top left? Cover. 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 Okay. And yeah, okay. I'm still confused. What is cover again? Cover. When you go into a fight mission, and uh, somebody is trying to use the fight ability, the combat ability, the difficulty of the combat ability is either your combat skill or the cover, whichever is higher. So in in missions we have a lot of cover. You can send your winnies, and they will fairly good, pro fairly well protected. Gotcha. I oh, gotcha. So the number in the top right is for when you're doing combat struggles, and it's uh, it's free. It replaces everybody's combat value if it's higher. Exactly. It doesn't replace the combat value. You cannot use combat the cover to do combat skills. So if your agent has one combat 
and you want to use an ability that has a target number 5 for combat, you don't use the cover then. Yeah, yeah, it means, it means when they're attacking you, you yeah. that's the number they have to hit. Exactly, one. at least. Okay, gotcha. So, if I'm looking if I'm looking at Escape of Khan's letter, yeah. there, which, which is the first one on the table, yeah. cover of six, yeah. victory points, yeah. and you need to win the story, you need Charisma 5. Plus 5. Everything. Charisma plus five, five more than your opponent. Yeah, now because it's a chase, because it says chase only, the only default actions that you can activate are transport actions. Yes. So nothing else can be activated except special abilities and things like uh, Garot. Exactly. Or even Brass Knuckles. Or even... Yeah. Uh, this one here, right? This one says cover plus one, okay? So in that example, cover would then be set. Yes. Seven. And then it says mission combat six. Give all enemy. And that means if I could make six combat. With this agent? That would trigger? Yes. You would use the uh, mobile artillery, and then every agent on the opposite side would have minus four cover. So at the escape of Kanzler, for example, they would have two cover from now on. Yeah, but. Uh, the. Uh, to activate the mobile infantry. Uh, the, the mobile artillery, the hero that it's attached to, the agent it's attached to, would have to have six combat. Is yeah, that right? Yeah, yes. So she would have to discard the bravado of two, because she has four by herself. Because she has four by herself. And then two more by bravado, and you would be able to use that ability. Oh, right, bravado. Right, right. Oh, right. Oh, the... Uh, Oh, okay, so, so the, the the actual ca characters have bravado as well. Yes, oh, they, they have bravado, uh, but it's not built-in bravado. The bravado that the characters have, you can only use when you discard them from your hand. But I mean that uh, this, this agent, this uh, Jessica style, has three combat by herself. The mobile artillery gives her plus one combat as a skill. So, she needs six combat to be able to use the mobile artillery. She has four, and then if you discard the Bravado 2 by your hand, you can use the mobile artillery. Yeah, yeah, what I, what I meant was, is that, uh, so, this is, a, this is a, an agent card, but it's actually got one Bravado as well. Yeah, but only if you discard it from your hand. So, the one Bravado is only used when you discard yeah. cards from your hand. Yeah, yeah. It's just for some reason, I for some, some reason, I thought that only only uh, actions and actions no, and no. stuff, you know, actions and gadgets had uh, Rado. No, everything. Okay. Yeah. It's like a. I think I think I've sort of got the hang of it. Why did you never use your? My what? Okay. No. Nothing. Nothing. I was just wondering why you never used your. Uh, your ID ability. Oh, it had nothing to do with it. Yep. Interesting. You want to uh, try another one? Uh, well, what's the time? I have no idea what it is for you. Uh. That did just take two hours, so I probably would like a little break. <laughs> okay, all right. When when you uh, when you chill out, let me know. When you uh, when you chill out, let me know.
Yeah, that, I'll give you a call in a sec. I'm going to be up for a while. Okay. But I'll, I'll, it was I'll, it was a good tutorial now video, I, I think. Now that I have a basic understanding of it. I kind of I'll just. What did you say? I said it was a good tutorial video. I'm going to put it on YouTube and uh, hopefully other people will be able to get an idea of what Spycraft is. Oh my god. Put it up on YouTube with me sounding like an idiot the whole time. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> That's alright. I, <laughs> I, uh, I actually streamed it to my, uh, my uh, Twitch account as well if you want to... Uh, from my point of view. That probably explains why our uh, connection was so, so bad. I'm streaming and you're streaming. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going okay, to stop. Well, look, I'm going to have a break and I'll... I'll... I'm going to stop.